Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to the end of the decade special show. This time we're going to do things just a little bit different. Since there's been a lot of discussion about the uh, about how pointless worst of the year lists are, or worst of the decade lists are, I decided to do something completely different. Now I don't have books for the entire 10 years, from 2000, I guess it would be 2000 to 2019 this year. So what I'm doing instead is I'm going to go over to Goodreads and I'm going to pull up from the most recent time I started giving one star reviews. It's not that I didn't dislike books before 2000, I think it's 2015, it's just that I wasn't actually reviewing and making a note of them. The whole point of this video, the twist, the plot twist, is that every single time I talk about a book that I dislike, I am going to be doing the bamboozled jelly bean challenge. So every single time before I start talking about a book, I'm going to eat a jelly bean. Whether it's good or bad, just like books that you pick up off your shelf, whether or not it's good or bad is up to the bookish gods. So we're going to pick up a jelly bean. I'm going to, I'm going to spin the wheel, show you guys the wheel, show you guys what I'm going to get. I'm going to grab a jelly bean that looks like that. Now, if I happen to talk about a book that has above, <sighs> that has above four stars, Okay, y'all, y'all gotta give me, y'all gotta give me that. If I talk about a book that m the majority of Goodreads loves, that's above four stars, I have to put this nasty thing in my mouth. This is, uh, some of you might remember this. This is the Toe of Satan challenge that I did way back in the way back. Shell was with me. Shell, say hi. Hello. All right, Shell is with me as emotional support because this video is gonna suck. Dan, can we can we get a hello from you? Nope. Silence. That's Dan. Chris, you want to say hello? Hi. Yeah, okay. So, everybody's here, but because I don't want to get demonetized and deleted because of the new, the new non-family-friendly system, I don't have the kids in the video. But anyways, so, anything above four-star average, I have to put this thing in my mouth for how long, show? I don't know. A minute. A minute? That's, that's what I said. A minute. Okay. So instead of the, so I have, it's 2005, 2015 to, to, to recent, so I have a chance to put this thing in my mouth five times. 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19. We also going to be here for a while. So sit back, grab your snacks, and relax. I didn't mean for any of that to rhyme. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so the first video, not video. Not video. We're talking about books here. The first the book I'm talking about from 2015, the lowest rated that I had, I had several, I had one, two, three, four, five, no, four books that I rated one star. Uh, one is Gord uh, Rolo's Peeler, which I don't remember anything about. Um, two are Dean Koontz books. We all saw that coming. Um, but there's one that really stands out to me, and that's the one that I'm going to focus on, and that is The Customer Is Always. Um, I think it's the customer is always wrong? I don't know. It's just the customer is always by Stuart Keane. I remember seeing this book a lot um, in, 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 not videos, but in on Goodreads. Uh, a lot of people reading it. And unfortunately, we're going to go to the Toa Satan, folks, because this has a average rating of 4.12. Um, actually, before that, I already broke my own rules. I have to spin the wheel... Since I'm talking about a book I didn't like. Oh, no, no, no. We got coconut or spoiled milk. No. Okay. If you guys have seen the, everybody in the background just covered their face. If you guys have seen the Is It Nasty video with this that me and Shell did. <sighs> okay. Um, spoiled milk. Yeah, it's just, a, it's a white. Just white. Just white. Mm. All right. So, white one. And we... <laughs> Chris is already laughing. Here we go. Here you go. Coconut. Oh, God, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I have to get it down. How do I get spoiled? How do I get spoiled milk twice? Stuart Keene, if you're watching, this is for you. Ugh. This is... Mm. Worst luck ever. Worst luck. How do I get it twice? Did you get it? Like, you didn't get it last time, did you? No, I you didn't. You got the coconut, but you don't like coconut. Okay, so we're gonna, while, I'm, while I'm chewing on this, we're going to talk. Oh, God, this is so nasty. While we're done, I'm going to read you a little bit. 
get that shit out your mouth. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to read. Uh, I'm going to read. What am I going to read? I'm going to read something. Um, okay. So I'm going to read you one paragraph out of this that actually makes me chuckle. Um, there's little to no description in this novella. Mostly, we're simply told things like, A blonde man was standing there looking out of place. How did he look out of place? Was he doing a bit of Batman cosplay? Was he wearing red on Blue Friday? Did he have his finger up his bum when everyone else was clearly picking their nose? Give me something to work with here, please. Oh, and I like this one, too. Sarah smiled and leaned down to look at her watch. Where was her watch? On her ankle? Why was she leaning down? Are you fucking with me, Mr. Author Man? <laughs> so that's a bit from my review. Oh, we're going to jump. That was 2015. Very good year for reading for me, by the way. But we are going to jump from that into 2016. Everybody in the background right now is trying not to laugh. Um, but we're going to go to 2016 for Goodreads. I'll be back with y'all in a minute. And Dan just reminded me that I had to do the toe for a minute. Anybody got their phone on them in the background? All right, pull up. We got to do a whole the minute. The teenager, of course. The, the Dan definitely has the... Oh, God. Stuart. 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 This is what you, this is what you get for that review. This is your recompense. Do you know what recompense... Now, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. So we <laughs> don't want to do this. Are we ready? I got I got a bowl. <laughs> I got a bowl. Dan, are we ready? Three, two, one. Um. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I kind of. Oh, that's Colgate. <laughs> oh, that's 110% Colgate. There ain't no berry about that. But yeah, I don't have to put that devil toe in my mouth no more. So, James Herbert. Is James Herbert even alive anymore? James Herbert, if you're out there watching, for the memes, uh, no. Dan is going to look up on, on, on the phone whether or not James Herbert's still with us. Oh, I'm going to get that out of my mouth. But uh, while, while Dan is doing that, I'm going to read from you. Oh, James, James Herbert. Man, y'all, I feel terrible. Uh, maybe he needed more toothpaste. Okay. Been dead for 13 years. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. 2013. 2013, I missed the 20, y'all. Okay, so boy, oh boy, was this book shit. Fortunately, it was a buddy read with my good friend, Thomas Stromquist. Uh, love you, Thomas. If you ever come across this video, I don't think you're watching any videos, but if you do, love you. Uh, I was in the impression, um, impression, <laughs> impression. Get I was a Satan, uh, man. <laughs> to a Satan. Got my tongue wildin', y'all. Okay, this one, the kids probably need to plug their, whatever. We're an open family here. I was under the, the uh, a man stumbles across a, a, a child, uh, masturbating in the woods and becomes aroused. If you're asking what the fuck, you damn well should be. Our hero Tom first assumes that this undine, human-sized fairy, is a child, but even though she looks ten, she still manages to give old Tom a, a route. We're gonna stop there because there's people in the background. This, this book was terrible, y'all. It had some, it had some fairy, some stuff in it that we don't want to talk about because we're a family friendly channel. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> so that's some hot garbage from 2016. Next up, we are gonna do 2017, and y'all, I gotta, I gotta eat another bean. But uh, first up, I'm gonna scroll back. I'll catch y'all in a minute. Okay, so in 2017, I read a whole grip of books. This was probably the last year I was super hyperactive, hyperactive, uh, super active on Goodreads. Uh, I read like 120 some of my books. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course, because I was so active, I was bound to have more books that I disliked. Um, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking it's a tie between Final Girls with Ridley Sager. If you want to watch my video, I'll try to remember to link it down there in the doobly doo. But I might have mental anguish, and I might forget because it's Toa Satan is messing me up. And I'm about to have to put this thing back in my mouth because had I picked Final Girls, it has a rating of 3.81. But what I'm picking is, mind the children, y'all, The Shadow of the Wind by uh, this mofo Ruiz Zafon, Carlo, Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, because this book is a treasured classic, no, it's just because th this is the challenge. I have to spin this stupid thing. Oh, God. Chocolate pudding or can dog food. I'm pretty sure I've had dog <laughs> We both had dog food. We it wasn't both that had bad. We, we, okay. So we started off with the worst thing. Yeah. Can't get dog. Your luck is crap. Mm -hmm. Okay, the dog shit. Mm -hmm. Chocolate pudding! Woo! Chocolate pudding! <laughs> but I put that damn toe in my mouth <laughs> for a minute. Get your phone ready, because we're gonna do this. Actually, let's do two minutes this time. Two minutes, we're going to escalate this. I hope I can finish this video. That was delicious. That was actually delicious. After all the bullshit I've had in my mouth. Okay, so, The Shadow of the Wind. I'm, I'm not going to read from my review because it's not funny. I, li I do not understand why people love this book. And most people out there are like, Yes, Toa Satan, you deserve it. I understand. I don't, I don't get it. Like, there's a whole lot of nostalgia having to do with this book. It being set in a library. And I feel that, that readers automatically love books set in libraries no matter what happens in that library. I just feel that there's that that drew people on more than anything else because if you look at the sequels, the sequels are not as beloved as the first book, but that's with any series really, except for Harry Potter. I hate Harry Potter too. But anyways, Toe of Satan <laughs> shells in the background giving me a look that definitely I ain't having no alone time anytime soon. Alright, Dan, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> How are you awful? I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. 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 
person would end the video right now. Any normal person. Yes. Not a single one of us is normal. No. So, here we Boy, go. if anything happens to this footage, I'm going to burn it all down. Okay. Oh my gosh. 2018, y'all. Last year. I can't breathe. Oh, there was a lot of one-star reviews in 2018. Oh my god! I'm still dying, but we're going to jump right into 2018. That was last year. So, uh, it was a very disappointing year for me. I didn't like several books. I Am Legend, Elevation, The Last Winner of Danny Lansing, The President is Missing, The Great Hunt, The Mansion, huh? Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noel, The Blackbirds, Survive the Night, No Exit, and Never Will Wake. But what we're going to talk about now is, oh, thank you so much, 3.78 star average for Never World Wake. I waited seven, five, five years for this book, and it was absolutely terrible. The idea and the concept behind the book sounded fantastic, but it ended up being a repetitive pile of shit. The reasoning for that is, Marissa Pessel, who wrote one of my top five favorite books of all time, Night Film, decided to use an idea entitled The Elsewhere House, uh, The House of Elsewhere Bend. I have uh, art up there. That's why I'm pointing. I can't even talk. Can't even think. To use that as like a side concept. Well, that was that concept was more interesting than the book that I actually read. So fuck that book. Fuck it. I'm dying. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to eat a fucking jelly bean. Alright, oh, please stop. Please. Please. I'll take any. Oh, canned dog food or chocolate pudding again. Uh, please. Oh, mm. what? Bruh, there's only. Oh, there's only two more brown jelly beans left. We both got dog food, so the ch chances of me getting chocolate pudding are very high. Chocolate pudding. Mm. It's dog food. <laughs> Uh, mm 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 mm. Your arm. It's dog food. I'm so sorry, it's dog food. Dog food's uh, not bad. Dog food's not bad. Actual dog Dan. food. Dan. See, you heard Dan's voice. Dan screwed up. Actual dog food isn't that bad. Whole, whole thing. Dan wasn't going to talk. Dan talking. I'm not going to cut none of that out. Oh, did I just did I just jump into Earl? 
Well, y'all never. Hey, y'all ever ate canned dog food? Like, I don't understand it. Like, why is it so delicious? No, Earl, stop it. Stop. Canned dog food is not. You know, when you're down and out, you'll eat damn near anything. Is what you'll eat. And uh, oh, I don't have. funky. I don't have some. <laughs> she talking about my breath. Is what she talking oh. about. Oh. Oh. Why I gotta be in this man's body when he done stuck that toe of the devil in his mouth hole? I don't understand nothing about that. Anyways, on with the vision. Okay, onward to 2019, the last year of the decade. We're finally here. Now I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you all the ones that I gave one star to. Uh, only one of them's over four. Is only uh, over four, but I didn't even finish the book, so I don't feel right talking about it. That's an American Assassin Mitch Rap one. Um, but uh, we're gonna talk about. Uh, we're not gonna talk about. I'm so y'all. I done lost it. Okay, so we have the Eyes of the Dragon, Star, the Mask, the Obsolete, the Grown Up, American Assassin, the Chain, and the House of Thunder. Um, the Obsolete is the one that sticks out most in my mind, um, but. It's for an odd reason. Uh, the the book is a it, the book is an allegory. He uses robots instead of people of color. Uh, it, instead of like a maybe even a homophobia, xenophobia, just any of those things, racism, any of those things. The robots. I didn't like the fact that he literally dehumanized the the characters. Um, it's like you know these people already think ha hateful people already don't think these people are human. These people already think that these people aren't human. So I didn't think it did anything for. I didn't think it was, you know, I didn't. I th think he missed the mark of the book. Obsolete has an average right now of a 3.38. Thank you, blessed baby Jesus. Uh, oh, so much fire, so much death in my mouth. I know these are objective and subjective opinions, but the same thing goes for these best of and worst of lists. They start conversations. I think they are both. I think they are both good to talk about. Um, I am doing this this absolutely insane thing here at the here at the end of the at, at the end of the decade because I find it funny. But if you want to do worst of list or only best of list, do what you do. Me, I'm about to eat one final jelly bean before we call. Oh no, don't do that. Before we call this an end, and we have oh no, uh, buttered popcorn or buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Uh, I couldn't get chocolate put. There's only one chocolate put. <sighs> okay, so, Shell, come here. Come here. Can I find me the find me the buttered popcorn or the rotten egg? <laughs> My vision's blurry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get cat cramps. Was the capsaicin cramps of the stomach? Oh, and I'm sad. My vision is is fading. This is the end, y'all. This is the end. This. Right here is the end. <laughs> Dan's over there clapping. No, no, look at this thing. Come on, y'all. Vote vote down there in the doobly doo right now. Pause the video and vote down there in the doobly doo. Is this buttered popcorn or rotten eggs? Three, two. Um, I can't change it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. No. No. I reviewed! I'm so sorry. <laughs> and this is how the voice is going. You know what I did? Well, you know what's not on this list? Uh, Josh Mailerman's Bird Box. You know why it's on there? Because I got threatened with death threats because I didn't like the book. But yet the book had people out there bungee jumping from umbilical cords and shit. Ugh. Oh, it's terrible. Also, head full of ghosts ain't on this list. You ought to be ashamed. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get this down. We're gonna get this down. Oh my, I'm up. Oh, okay. I got down. It's down. It's gone. I'm not putting that toe back in my mouth. I don't even like feet. Y'all be out there sucking on toes. I don't understand it. Yeah. Why y'all out there sucking on toes? I don't get it. Like, that's just one thing. Y'all be walking on that stuff. Don't you step in dog poop. I don't get it. Like, 
like, what it, what, what's, what's, what's the fetishes with y'all stepping, not stepping in dog poop? Ain't nobody got no fetish stepping in dog poop, but mm, somebody, oh, Dan, you, you got a fetish stepping in dog poop? Surprise! Demonetize. So until next time, oh, so I have been E, you have been you. This has been both the Bamboozle Challenge that Shell took away, Bamboozle Challenge and the Toe of Satan, and the worst books of the decade as voted for by me. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye-bye!